like at home with my cat Fred, where I go, Fred. <laughs> no, Fred! not the same. Look over here, Fred. It is the 15 Minute Morning Show podcast. We got a room full today. We've got guests. We have Vienna, who is in from Tanzania, right off Safari. Mm -hmm. <laughs> How long have you been doing safaris? Uh, 16 years now. What? Ever been hit by a paw? <laughs> no, nothing. Okay, well. <laughs> also, uh, back from college, Spencer is here. What up? From university. What's going on? Well, we're going to try to talk your mom into taking you on safari. What? I oh. would love to go on safari. There you yeah, go. Yeah, no need to Who wouldn't? And, uh, of course, Phil Siciliano. Oh, you got it right. Yeah. Is here. Nice. The, the of course, uh, wedding photographer to the stars. That's me. Hi. We ha So we have a bond between these three guests. Can you guess what it is? What What is the connection? I don't know. Photography. Oh. Oh. Well, your son isn't really into photography. Yeah, I was like, he's not into photography. I'm like, what? But he could be there to watch the yes, photography. Yes. So, you know, Vienna has really done a great job in self-teaching photography, wildlife photography. Because yeah. he's out there. He sees everything. And, and so shooting a bride and groom, that's wildlife as well, in a way. Might as well be on safari doing that. Exactly. <laughs> so, I mean, we need to take you on safari to get some shots of crazy animals. Oh, that'd be amazing. One I mean, day. you'd be good at that. Oh, yeah. I'd love it. I just don't want to get mauled because I'd want to well, get so you're close. You're not going to get mauled. The thing about wedding photography, the best wedding photography, is not the pictures that are posed. It's the catching the uh, the candid photos when they're not paying attention. Mm -hmm. But with animals, it's nothing but candid. They, they're not looking at you. They're looking at what they're doing, right? Like eating another animal or whatever. Yeah, so with, with the animal is you just have that one moment and you need to capture it. So, you know, you have to first understand their behavior uh, and then, you know, you're like staring at them all the time through that lens to wait for that particular moment that you want and you have it for like uh, two to three seconds. And the good thing is, or the bad thing is, you don't have any lights or anything like, you know, or any way of telling that animal you can pose like here or there or do that. So you have really to be aware of what you want to do and the surrounding and your camera as well. You have to know your camera very well uh, and then wait for the moment and then take the moment. It's not like at home with my cat Fred where I go, Fred! <laughs> no, Fred! not the same. Look over here, Fred! <laughs> no, but, not no. the same. But look at the parallels because when you're shooting a wedding, you, you've done so many, you know, you kind of anticipate what they're going to do next and how they're going to act. So you know when to like get the shot. So the way he just described photographing animals, it's the same concept for people. It is. It, he could be an amazing wedding photographer just based on what he just said. Right? How's that? <laughs> because he said it's like you have to focus on a wild animal and you only have a split second to capture their moment. And it's exactly like that on a wedding day because these brides, these grooms, they... You can't explain what their next move's gonna be because alcohol's involved mm -hmm. and there's all these different- Nerves. Yeah, nerves, I mean, you name it. There's so many different things that are going on that I've actually started doing what's called zone focusing. It's a technique that's used in street photography. So it's almost like you don't even know I'm gonna take the picture, you just click and you move because there's just so much spontaneity that happens on a wedding day that I wanna catch it instantly rather than saying, okay, go stand over there and let me get you, uh, looking at me this way. I just want that real moment so when you look at it, you see what happened at that instant. Well, see, at a wedding, I mean, the best photographers, in my opinion, are the ones that are invisible. You don't know they're there. You're, But you're in the background just capturing mm -hmm. things. It's the same exact thing on the Serengeti. You're, they're not going to pose. They're not going to take direction at all. Yeah, for, for example, like Alex, you know, he's got a small camera that he comes on safari with. And, you know, sometimes he takes, he takes pictures and, you know, he does not really know what he took. When he gets back home, he's going through them and it's like, wow, I didn't know I got that moment. You know, it's like it's, it's a split wow. of seconds and you have to click and get it, you know. And, you know, you, you have, as he said, uh, when you want to capture that moment, to freeze that moment, you have to be quick and you have to, to shoot, you know. When I'm shooting uh, with the new cameras now, they have uh, 30 frames per second or 50 frames per second. So that is 50 pictures that you clicked per second, you know, and 
after that, when you go through them, it's when now you pick the best that you, yeah. you like to post outside. Gandhi is joining us. Hello. We're talking about the parallels between wedding photography and wildlife photography. Oh, right. what are they? Start all over. <laughs> <laughs> and also, of course, Spenny's back from university. Yep. Yeah. So we're trying to make these three mm. guests make sense together. What about <laughs> if we started talking about college Snapchat photography? Oh, geez. Yeah, I mean, yeah, I mean, there's a bit of that. I mean, you know, it's not, it's not as professional, but hey, I guess, I guess so, man. I mean, well, well, I, I have been doing a couple of, you know, recordings or, or media for my school. Right. Like, through on some of it's on my Instagram, but uh, for the school and for the team like that I play for, I've been doing a bunch of like interviews and stuff like that. So. I, I don't know, I guess. He did, he did it. He a just did a there. brand new day in the life where yeah. they interview him for his entire right. day and what's going on. He didn't shoot it, but somebody shot right, it of him. Yeah. So I cameras involved, I yeah. guess. I don't know. So, so you're the model that they shoot. Yeah. yeah. So what if we did a camp? We need to do a camp for like fifty people. Mm -hmm. That's too big. How much would that cost us? It would just be a lot. <laughs> it's gonna be a lot. <laughs> <laughs> so it, it all of us, our families and our photographer and his family. Yeah. And we all go to the Serengeti and do our show on the That'd on be the, amazing. I'm down. Who's oh, paying? Amazing. We got to get a sponsor for this. Yeah, we do. I think we all have to start our OnlyFans pages. <laughs> this, is, this is how we afford to go over there. If we start squishing things with our feet, we're gonna make lots of money. Done. There you go. Yep. Maybe we get a camera company to sponsor it. There you go. Oh, that's good. We'll get working on that. Come on, Phil. But, but you know, <laughs> I, I think of what you said earlier, Gandhi. How great it would be to take your entire family, your mom, your dad, oh, yeah. and your 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 sister and everyone. Yeah. On safari, and of course Danielle, you and. Sheldon. Yeah, Spencer and Preston. Sp Spenny and Preston. <laughs> yeah. it, it is a family thing. Oh, you, cool. you, and, or with friends. I can see a bunch of girlfriends going together on safari. Yes, I at the moment I'm working on a friend's trip that there will be five of them, mm. four girls and one, one boy, and it's fun planning it. You know, it's, it's lots of fun planning it because they're all fun and you know exactly that, you know, it's going to be a fun trip. So they're doing Kili, and then after Kili, after the climb, we go do the safari. Hey, so. have you ever had someone on safari that was such an ass that you wanted to throw them to the lions? Uh, not really. No? Most of the people behave. Oh, that's yeah. Well, yeah. <laughs> yeah. You, you have, have to or you're going to die. I guess, yeah. <laughs> well, I don't know. Have you been on safari, Phil? I haven't. It's, I would love to go on safari It's something everyone day. should do. Especially, I mean, put aside the animals. I've seen some of the sunsets and the oh. landscape photography that's done there and it blows my mind i'll tell you this things. to see a sunset on the serengeti i've never seen anything like it you feel like you're on another planet because the sun is as big as w the right. entire yeah. scope of what you can see yeah i mean i want to be inside the lion king <laughs> it is very inside the lion king oh, very much so <laughs> well, so there you go. So we figured out a plan. We're taking the show on the road. Yeah, let's go. Scary, can yeah. you produce? <laughs> on the road with you, right? Yes. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I could do it. No, no, no. I thought that's what he meant. I'm like, you, you could stay back here. You could run the board here in New York. <laughs> no, no. I'm going to be hanging out. I want to be part of it. I'm oh, gonna, I'm... I cannot even imagine Scary yeah. in the Serengeti. Yeah, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Immediate would... sunburn. What would he fall on? Which animal? No, a baby no, no. lion. No. I'd be very careful and very respectable. That's got you a know, ring to I'm it. Sure that is funny Serengeti Scary. Yeah. Last year, I had, you know, I had the family of 16. And we were driving in the Serengeti, and we go to these copies. Our copies are rock outcrops that comes from the ground. And we sat there, and one of them said, oh, this will be a good place for the morning show to come and broadcast from. Oh, like, they found a spot <laughs> for us. Yeah, 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 we already have a studio ready nice. to go. Cool. Yeah, you know. And the Wi-Fi is good over there, I'm yeah, sure. Yeah, because you can sit yeah. there and see the Serengeti for as far as your eyes can see. Would we oh, mount the satellite on the top of a giraffe? Like to just get the height. You need that height of connection because this giraffe will be walking. But you know, <laughs> we, we have companies that can supply okay. connection. And I, I, was so cool. I was kidding. No, was no we're going to find a way to mount a satellite dish on a giraffe. Oh, this is a visual of an antenna on top of a giraffe's head <laughs> right. because we're <laughs> broadcasting from <laughs> <the> rabbit. <laughs> <antennas, actually. laughs> so here's what saddens me though, Gandhi hmm. is you really, there's not one animal you should touch. You should really, touch. No, you should. You should not touch anything. <laughs> I know I shouldn't. And you, no, we'll, you you can't. Or you'll just you a nice die. little pet. You can't. I'm telling you, now, if they she, can feel my vibes. If she was to do that, do you say your safari's done and you bring her back to the? You know, uh, you know that is a life-threatening thing. We have had people doing it actually. <sighs> yeah. Wow. Uh -oh. 
uh, but it's a life-threatening thing because for you to be able to touch that lion that means or that animal that means you have to have part of your body outside the vehicle so if that animal reacts these animals are very quick more than what we think oh, yeah. if that animal reacts within a second you might be you know in a in a very big mess you're so being eaten <laughs> so wow. we we <laughs> you know we always tell people they are friendly but they also they are very uh, deadly when you know they're not respected. Mm. They're very unpredictable. Yeah. I will be respectful. No, uh, I'm not even taking. You know what? <laughs> She's not going. I, I, I'm calling ahead. You're not. Africa will not allow you now. Rude. Uh, okay, so Phil, let's talk about the documentary. It's available uh, right now to view. It's a so, short, it's and a it's short, uh, yes. it's on your Instagram page. It's on my Instagram page. It's called Stay Still. Right. It's by a very talented cinematographer and friend. His name is Chris Antice. It was his idea, and. It was born last last week. It just came out. It's so fresh that this is the first place I'm really announcing it. So it's out there. It's in the wild, no pun intended. <laughs> and um, yeah, it shows you what it is for us and what we go through as photographers and the humble side to it, I guess you could well, say. Good. But there's got to be an exciting side too because you're dealing with a day at a wedding, a day of emotion and of... Yeah. Of passion and n people being just nuts and out of their minds and freaking out and you've got to calm them down or what die it's it's kind of like being a doctor in a emergency room where you're there and you're in panic mode but they know what to do because you're the professional and you're there to calm them down and do it the right way um but yeah chaos erupts left and right every single weekend the emergency room yeah so it's called stay still yes if you go to philip underscore siciliano siciliano you got underscore it. nice so just philip underscore siciliano oh there's nothing after the there's another yeah okay. <laughs> so, i also put it at radio radio danielle monero on my insta story so you can click the link there too right if it's easier go. than spelling siciliano <laughs> it's, it's, a, a, it's a very heartwarming Film. And it's 12 minutes long. That's it's, it. it's worth a watch. It keeps your attention. Do you know what tie all of this together? What does tie all of this together? What? So my sister got married at the Columbus Zoo in the heart of Africa. So wedding photographer in the heart of Africa. And guess what? We could touch the animals. It was great. <laughs> it was great. I found a giraffe. I touched a wall. Well, if you great. only just visit petting zoos, we're good. <laughs> <laughs> zoo, not, and not safari. And, and if you want to get in, in, in touch circle. with VNA, uh, I'm telling you right now, <laughs> get in touch with VNA if you DM him on Instagram. There is a way you will find you will find a way to get to the Serengeti and go on safari. Yeah. And if you want to link over, simply go to Elvis Duran Show on Instagram, and we have it all up there for you. Yeah. And also, uh, for those who comes with their cameras and it's the first time using them i always offer them free lessons on how to use their cameras oh. Uh, oh. the settings wow. and how to capture the moments so you don't come to on safari just with my cell phone i gotta get you can you can come with your cell phone they work just fine really yeah absolutely oh. you can come you know there are people who wants to capture the moments in a bigger scope so okay. they bring their tele you know yeah zoom in lenses and everything so and most of them, or some of them, in you know, the first time uh, they bought it or they rented it. Oh, yeah. So, you know, when they come out there, everything is new. So I always give them hints on how mm. to use them. Just remember, it's not about the camera you use, it's about how you use it. That's, you that's use what it I was much. told. Amen. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <well. laughs> oh, my gosh. Life's <laughs> lessons applied. <laughs> we'll leave it right there. All right, well, thank you guys for joining our very awkward. <laughs> 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 Our very, Spencer. very awkward <laughs> podcast. <laughs> but VNA and Spencer and, and Phil, thank you guys for being here today. Thank you. Thank you. Thank Enjoy you. your day. Thank you. Thank you.